Welcome to Cinderella Has Cellulite, a show about love, romance, and how to make it all last. Relationship expert Donna R. Weitzman draws on her years of experience in and out of the dating game to unwrap the mysteries behind the all too familiar fairy tale. Tune in to find out the secrets behind first dates, second marriages, and everything in between. From his friends and her friends to X's and L's, this is Cinderella Has Cellulite. And now, your host, Donna Arp Weitzman. Zach, 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 good morning. Good morning, Donna. My goodness, I haven't seen you in weeks. I've been in a sexy Italy. <laughs> Oh. I don't know if that's the first word you describe, but I've never been. How is sexy Italy? Well, it was three pounds heavier for me when I got back, so I want you to know that. That's how sexy it was. That's not so bad. That's a, that's a fifth of the freshman 15. <laughs> Well, what yeah, was, but I did it in a week. What was going on in the wide world of Italy, Don? Yeah, you were over there for a little while. I was, and I loved it. I went down the Riviera uh, with my lover, which is my husband. Aww. Yeah, sorry. Uh, no, I'm not sorry. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we, we did a wonderful trip, and it is great. And I can see why people call that the land of love. Really? I mean, all the French Riviera, Monaco, oh my gosh. You just look at it, and yeah. you just want to have a lover. That's fantastic. Yeah. I've never been. Yeah, you've been before, though, right? Yeah, I've been before, but I. this was a fabulous trip. But look at you. You've <laughs> lost how, how many pounds? I didn't, I didn't think you could tell in the Ghostbusters All outfit. of you who are watching out there, good morning. But I want you to know Zach is drying up and blowing away over Slowly here. but surely. Uh-huh. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's uh-huh. really sweet. It's been something I've been, I've been working on, a little side project when uh-huh. I'm not at work. And, uh, yeah, it's starting to pay off. So it's Low good stuff. carbs. Uh, that's the way you're doing it, Low right? Carb. Low carbs. That's it, yeah. Well, Just I'm made up for it. I did the pasta <laughs> thing. <laughs> I did the pasta hey, trail. how could you not, right? <laughs> oh, their cheese is so good. Everything they do. Uh, Zach, I haven't seen you in a few weeks now. We had a podcast go out yesterday, We right? did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Natalie mm-hmm. Westbrook, the mm-hmm. Lolly Art Group. Yeah, oh, it's a good wow. One. Wow. So if you're not watching our podcast, be sure and do that. iTunes and all of the ways to do it. Let's remind the, the viewers right up front. Yes. Really quick. Uh, if you are not subscribed to the show, subscribe to us on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, SoundCloud to keep up with everything we're doing follow us on facebook and uh buy one of donna's books buy both of donna's books because they're both great oh they're worth thank reading. you they are they're fun well um when i got back from my trip i wanted everybody to know that i was invited to speak to a group of mostly men i can't talk this morning mostly men but there were a few women and guess what they wanted me to talk about in the world of relationships what's that Snoring. <laughs> snoring. <laughs> snoring. Okay. And you know what? I did a lot of research on snoring, and what I found is snoring causes relationship problems. It's a tough thing, snoring. S- s- well, you probably don't know because you're young and your nasal cavity is still good. I definitely snore. I oh, do. you do? I know. Not, oh. all, not all the time. I, I'm, I'm intermittent. And actually, believe it or not, and you might have seen something about this in the research, since I've been dieting and doing a little better, I've been snoring less. Yes, because losing weight helps. Losing weight does open up your nasal cavity. I guess your yes. nose gets less fat, right? So, <laughs> <something> <laughs> you get a skinny like nose. I don't yeah. know, but uh, I did a lot of research and found that about sixty percent of all of us snore. Sixty percent. Sixty percent. Now, this little talk was with the Rotary Club in Addison, the original Addison Rotary Club, and so you know, part of the Rotary Club is being honest, right? That's sure. So I asked them if, if you snore, hold your hand, hold up your hand and mm-hmm. i think about 85 or 90 percent of them held up their hand and said they snore rotary skews a little older mm, so i mean yeah. that's that may not be that much of a surprise 60 percent though it's hard to believe yeah the, that's of the whole world right is what they show and yeah. what's the divorce rate how uh, close are those numbers that's right? pretty close <laughs> but the, the reason snoring such a problem is it affects both people Right. Not just you individually. Right. So it was not only just snoring, but there were lots of other problems we talked about. It was sleeping habits. And the name of the speech was, How Do Sleeping Habits Affect Your Relationship? Oh, wow. Well, there's other things. Do you Are you a hot sleeper or a cold sleeper? Oh, do I? Do I how, how do you mean? Do you wear, do you put a blanket on, or do you throw the blankets off? Here's my problem. Uh-huh. I put a blanket on, and then I sweat like all night. <laughs> like I, my body, I can't do it without the blanket. Like I'll freeze. <laughs> but if I have the blanket on, it's too much. So I guess I'm a hot sleeper. That's okay. where I'm at. I'm all a one leg out of the blanket sleeper. Oh, that's, that's, and why yeah. is that one leg? People who I sleep hot know. stick a leg out. I know. I don't. I don't. It's understand the oddest it. thing. It's like a thermometer sticking out of a turkey. Like it just helps somehow. It makes me. It, it works it all out. My yeah. Problem 
problem is when I stick, stick my leg out, my dog comes over and licks my feet. <laughs> so that doesn't work for me. <laughs> yeah, that's got to be frightening at 3 a.m. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's very frightening. <laughs> so there's hot sleepers, cold sleepers. There's sleepers who move around a lot. There's sleepers who don't. Uh, one third of all married people, one third sleep in different beds. See, the Bra- that's how the mm-hmm. Brady's did it, right? Mm-hmm. The Brady Bunch, they slept in separate beds. <laughs> that's and, right. uh, you know, it worked for them. So who do you maybe think it's not was that the hot crazy. sleeper and the cold sleeper in that group? Had to. Mr. Brady had to have been the hot sleeper. You think so? I think Mrs. Brady was the hottie. You know, yeah, I think it can be tempting sometimes to say, well, you know, you go you know, crash on the couch for the uh-huh. evening or something, but it's rough. It hurts. Uh-huh. It, it's it's tough to be in that position because uh-huh. it's not, you know, sleeping is involuntary. It's not something we choose to do. It's just kind of the way we do it. Everybody's it, different. It, yeah, and it's hard to change it. However, you can get sleep therapy and you can go to clinics. But the number one thing that you should do if you are having sleeping problems with your spouse, your mate, and your partner is you should should number one talk about it talk about because people don't talk about it right they try to hide it sleep uh, snores usually say i I don't snore you're just dreaming that which makes the (laughs) other person so (laughs) mad Uh, so you know we have all kind oh there's cuddlers versus non-cuddlers cuddlers versus okay hold on let's get into this a little Mm -hmm. bit cuddlers versus non-cuddlers so people who don't like cuddling oh me really i am not a cuddler not a cuddler no 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 i don't i want nothing touching me when i'm asleep really nothing and my husband is a cuddler drives me insane so like this morning he says he wakes up i I wake up he wakes up and he goes let's cuddle i'm like oh no so it's (laughs) like i I count off the seconds (laughs) okay are we through cuddling oh no yeah so i usually use it as an uh, an excuse that i have to get up and have coffee yeah Yeah. that's Mm -hmm. fair i'm 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 a fan of the cuddling unfortunately it doesn't always work out both ways because like i said i'm 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 a hot sleeper i I, I run hot all right you run hot but you want to cuddle it's rough yeah when you're like 18 (laughs) degrees hotter than the person you're like snuggling (laughs) with it does not work and i can understand it i can respect it but sometimes, I don't know, sometimes you want to be the little spoon, you know what I mean? So do you think you should just talk about this with your uh, with your partner? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a tough thing, but at some point you should probably have a conversation about it, right? I mean, who... How who, many dates in? Feeling? How many dates in? Oh, you? gosh. Mm-hmm, here we go. Remember, kissing right, is on the is third date. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, obviously, at some point you're going to be snoozing, all right? I'd yeah. say around that time, maybe preemptively, if you're that, if you've got that kind of confidence, just get right, get right out in front of it and say, listen... We should have a conversation about let's something. Talk about yeah, I, I want to get in front of this, um, <laughs> but I, I would imagine most people are like, "I'll worry about that after." That. Let them find out, right? You don't. <laughs> well, you don't want to give problem. away all the company secrets. And we women, uh, men snore more than women. However, we, women do snore, but we women think we can change men's habits on snoring. So right, and, and it's, it's a it's a bummer because mm-hmm. yeah, sometimes it's, it's not really a habit. It's yeah. kind of a bio, like it just happens. It, you know? it is what it is. However, sleeping clinics do help. Yeah, and of course, surgery helps sometimes. It'll open up your airways. Pricey endeavors. Uh Uh-huh. But women, we just call that a nose job. (laughs) (laughs) That's our excuse for a nose job. Sure. Uh, So, but anyway, that's what I've been talking about, how sleeping habits um, affect our relationship. That is fascinating. Mm -hmm. You you find yourself, I think, I find you, at least on the the internets, talking about the oddest things sometimes. I mean, sometimes it's like just relationships. Other times it's like, let's talk about, yeah, sleeping habits (laughs) and and a rotary. Like, it's very intriguing. What are some other things you've talked about? Oh, my gosh. I mean, you've you've got a bunch, I know. Oh, just all kinds of things. You know, my favorite has always been fubbing. We've talked about that. Fubbing is I love to talk about fubbing. It's just fun to say. Phone, uh, ignoring people by using your phone. Yep. So that's my favorite. But I've talked about all kinds of things. But over in Italy, I mostly talked about good pasta and good wine. Good pasta and uh good wine. Good cheese. Uh Good olives over there. Oh, oh, yeah. But I did run into some people who'd read my book. Really? Mm -hmm. That's fascinating. Yeah. So that's always fascinating. Uh, Were you able to... Okay, was there any kind of language barrier there? No, no, they most of them speak English. So, <laughs> fortunately, yeah, fortunately for us, especially right? the language of love. Right. Yeah. So, mm. well, this morning we have a wonderful guest. I think some of you may have seen him on the internet. He's yes. very, very popular and mucho handsome. I can say that. <laughs> I don't think I sound sexist <laughs> saying that. No. Um, if I do, I guess he'll tell me. I think he's handsome. Uh, yeah, I'll jump in that pool with you. There we go. Yeah. Guy love. Uh, but anyway, we have Johnny Koreshi, and Johnny is going to talk to us about the problems and the wins and losses of dating in today's world yes yeah Johnny, and so welcome to the show yeah hello thank you for having me good morning god how do i uh how do i follow that up uh, well, <laughs> you, a lot of do energy you, do, there. do you snore 
I do, yes. You do? Okay, yeah. ladies. It's a problem. It's an epidemic. Yeah. Ladies, even though Johnny is hugely handsome and debonair and has great personality and a lot of stylish, and he snores. So <laughs> yeah. let's get that out in the open. Yeah, yeah. Scary levels of snoring, actually. <laughs> That's some, I wake up sometimes because I'm like, really? Was I snoring? Today? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Snore yourself awake. That's the foot to start off on. Well. Johnny, you are in your 30s. I Correct. think yeah. you told me. Um, and um, one thing we need to talk about or we want to talk about with you because you are still single. Correct. When I say still, that's not unusual now, right? That is not unusual, no. Talk, talk to us about guys getting married later and girls and ladies getting married later as well. I think we just have a more informed age at the moment and we have a lot of options. So a lot of options aren't always good and too much information can be not good as well. That's so interesting you say that because uh, often Zach and I have talked about one of the reasons people wait is they have more more choices. Correct. Mm -hmm. Right. People like that variety. Because you always think maybe it's better. Yeah. Maybe the grass is greener on the other side, right? Yep. Oops. Things are things are always changing, you know. Mm -hmm. Sure. I mean, more more often than ever before, it's like the discovery of fire or something, you know, with with the the machines coming in right now. Everything is changing. Uh huh. And. Uh -huh. Uh, what I can I say, hey, I got a question for you. Okay. All right. So now, wait a minute. We're the interviewers. All right, right Zach. <laughs> sure. But we'll do the best. Yeah. We hold can. on. Uh, so which, who's, who's got which shoe on what yeah, foot? Yeah. Wait a minute here. Yeah, yeah. But we'll do the best we can. But Go I think ahead. this uh, this this del definitely help us dive a little deeper. What is considered cheating nowadays? Is Ooh. Facebooking somebody without your partner wow. knowing? Wow. Is uh you know kissing? Right. Where's Jeez. that line? Yeah. Where's that line? Is going all the way to home base? I mean, where where are you drawing that line? Right. So are you I'm, asking? I'll mm, give you my, sure, my yeah. thought. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. do you think? Actually, I think we talked about this on one of my shows um, or I certainly no, I think I did with on my radio tour. Um, cheating is when the other person considers it cheating. Hmm. So you need to talk about it. Okay. So if your partner thinks that you're cheating by pecking another woman on the face, then you know and she knows she considers that cheating gotcha if she considers like i would i don't care if my husband hugs kisses or whatever but sleeping with somebody else might be a problem for me sure but so if that's a problem you need to know it so you need the two of you need to set the boundaries if you're serious about her right if and you're serious at all about her yeah and i and i think in this day and age what's happening is people are very are uncomfortable with conflict Mm -hmm. And so when you don't, when you have people that are that are not good at communication altogether, and they mm -hmm. have many other options, virtual options, they can give them that little dopamine burst when you know. Mm -hmm. I just go, you know what? I'm sad. I'm gonna put on some makeup and I'm gonna put a picture of myself up. Bam, a hundred likes, right? And so, guys sitting there like, wait, what am I? What am I to do about this situation? <laughs> <laughs> and you know, and every and it, and it becomes a competition very early on. I think there are, but, but here I can say this: this is evolution happening right in front of us. We have to accept what's going on. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, may the best man win. <laughs> <laughs> a tough world out there. I appreciate yeah, your opinion towards the inevitability of it. Like, social media was a natural thing. Eventually, we were going to get it. And eventually, we're going to get to a point where we're all posting stuff for likes. I can get behind it. I understand. I, I see where you're coming from. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about the best man win policy. But, I'm hey, maybe I'm not the best man. Maybe, you know that's, what? maybe that says something about do you, me. Do you yeah. think social media leads us to more insecurities? I think it can. In our yeah, dating absolutely. world? In our love I, life? I think it opens up a Pandora's box. I, what I will... I, you know, I've actually received more attention or um, s I don't, I don't want to sound like this but we don't care I can see that there's an attraction level spike because uh -huh. I have more followers have you, you noticed yeah, that yeah of course so if a young, uh, young lady th that um, I would consider would see uh, and after an initial conversation everyone goes back and stalks your social media uh -huh, uh -huh. so when they go back and it's like a landing page almost uh -huh. to see what you're what you're about and, mm -hmm. and see how um, socially um Accepted yeah, 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 like uh, how much desirable social intelligence uh -huh. you actually have, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And they're like, okay, well, he's got some kind of a track record, then it actually works in your mm -hmm. favor. So there's mm -hmm. a, a little bit more uh, comfort in mm -hmm. that, I've noticed. Mm -hmm. Isn't there an old psychological thing that still works that says everybody wants 
the person that everybody else wants. Correct. Isn't that why we love movie stars and all these kinds of things? Because, you know, the more desirable the woman, the more men want her. Yeah, it's a, it's a mm-hmm. universal principle. It's called mm-hmm. law of pre-selection. Ah. It's like having something on your resume that is highly desirable. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you can get offered jobs all the time for something yeah. that you have a skill for. So there it's you go. Same thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Mm. So what do you think of all that, Zach? No, I, I think it all adds up. I think you're posing kind of an interesting concept, something I hadn't considered. Yeah, is, is the way social media has kind of altered our relationships with each other. So, Because we like to act like it's not a big deal. We like to act like it's something going on in the background. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. The way we talk to each other does not matter in regards to our social media. Um, they're two entirely different entities, but they're not. You're absolutely right. When you talk to somebody at, a, at an art gallery or you're at a networking event, one of the first things they're going to do if they're interested in you is look you up mm-hmm. and see what you're about. And mm-hmm. if you haven't touched your Facebook in like three months and you're a terrible person on Twitter, odds are they're going to think less of you for it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it matters, I guess, which is a bummer. I need to work on my social media. <laughs> that, I mean, makes, that makes us all want to go back and check our social right, media Right, yeah, if you, if you hear me mm-hmm. typing, you'll know what's up. <laughs> if Zach leaves the interview and starts working on his computer over there, we're going to know he's updating his social media. Right, it's like so. fixing a resume. Yeah. How often do you update your social media, Johnny? You know, so I, I, it, it comes and goes because I know that in, in, in the frequency that I put content out, because I'm an original content creator, mm-hmm. um, it, it can be so overwhelming mm-hmm. and I'm not staffed for me to be able to do, um, you know, all these different platforms and then original content all at once. So I'll come in bursts. If I have something that mm-hmm. I have to deliver, mm-hmm. then I'll come in in a burst of about 30, 30 days and I'll take about a week or two weeks off. Mm-hmm. And, and then I'll, I'll go back and I collect myself and I go get back at it again. Mm-hmm. Because I see myself as a businessman in this. It's not a personal deal. So whenever I put something up, there's really no emotion attached to it. Yeah, because you have a company. Correct. You have t- actually two companies. Yes. And so social media is important in your in your business. Yeah, I mean, if you think about it, in the new day and age, what's happened is we've cut out all the distributors. So if you if you if you're a musician, you don't need a, a recording label to dis- to distribute your music. You can mm-hmm. go out there. Music is free nowadays. Right. You give the music mm-hmm. away for free, and then mm-hmm. when somebody comes back, they reciprocate with either buying a T-shirt or coming to your small uh, ev- uh, event or something mm-hmm. like that, mm-hmm. right? Um, and or whatever product you can release, they'll go out there and support. If you get behind mm-hmm. a charity, they'll do that. So mm-hmm. you don't you do not own your the the platforms you know Zuckerberg and these guys they own Facebook and Instagram mm-hmm. and YouTube mm-hmm. and LinkedIn mm-hmm. and such mm-hmm. what you do own or are a part of is your community mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. we're not we're not we're kind of getting away from that whole standpoint of people are my fans it's more like we're a community mm-hmm. um, also one more thing that I wanted to touch on is things have changed drastically. Now we have, we're building tribes. I know the people who have the same similar interests as myself. I have people that are in my immediate family that I just, I just, just don't see eye to eye with. We can't have community. Just, we, I can't hold a conversation. <laughs> Shout out to Thanksgiving. So, yeah. so blood's not thicker than water nowadays. It's more similarities. I think or? data is thicker than blood. Mm, mm. Yeah. Well, so what about a girl? Let's talk about women for a minute. So do you, does it um, entice you more or interest you more if a woman is highly active on social media? Ooh, that's, that's a deep and <laughs> good It's a question. double-edged sword, <laughs> isn't it? So here's what I will say. It depends on who she is. It depends on if she, is she doing it as a business person mm-hmm. and an entity, or else is she, she doing it as a person for mm-hmm. her own um, um Emotions, yeah, right? for her own psychology and her security. Yeah. Well, that was that was something I wanted to follow up with you, Johnny. Do you have two separate accounts? Do you have one for business and one for personal? I don't. You just have the one. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. it. And it's business. Yes, sir. The, right. the, the idea is, it's look, you're gonna you're gonna. There's so much competition out there, and you're gonna wear yourself out real thin v- very quick by doing too many platform forms that do not work for you. So you have to stick to the platforms that work for you. And then on top of that, you've got to make sure that you have one account that you're just doubling down on, right? You I mean, you understand one niche, stay, stay mm-hmm. in that niche of yours. Mm-hmm. What is yours? Is it Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, on and on? I've, I've noticed that Instagram and Facebook works best for me. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I'm, I, I was very big on Snapchat, but I, but I, I, I removed myself from, that snap, from the Snapchat spectrum because of the 
age group of the users and right. the biz and the the business power that's built in behind Snapchat. Mm -hmm. They generally have uh, they make money off of the advertisers. Mm -hmm. Where Instagram is giving me the opportunity for me to be able to advertise with them mm -hmm. and uh, and a lot more. So mm -hmm. I'm think I'm thinking uh, Instagram is taking all that over pretty soon. Well, Instagram's more your age group anyway, right? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so is yeah. so is Snapchat. Mm -hmm. So is Snapchat, but. Uh, you know, Snapchat's going to have to come up with, uh, I actually lost 400 bucks playing in the stock market with them, you know? So, oh, wow. I, yeah, I kind of have a, you know, I'm not a happy with Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> here's your ax and here's you grinding it. What? So I wanted to ask, um, do, you, do you ever find yourself trying to find, try, the danger I think of having just one account, one business account, like you said, is when you talk to somebody, somebody might be interested in you and they look you up and they see your business account, they might think, man, this guy's all work. He's sure. no play. How do you balance that out? Well, good, here's, here's good a, questions. At. Yeah. yeah, that is that is an actual excellent question, and that's where that balance comes in, right? Because I, what are you gonna what are you gonna do? What are you doing in your life right now? Are you gonna be decisive about what you're going after, or are, are you actually gonna do a little bit of an eighty twenty, you know, forty sixty that right. sort of thing? So I mean, for me, I'm I, I'm a gunslinger. I'm all all out right now, right? So. I mean, that's so the same thing with all of us for the most part, right? Sure. I mean, uh, some, and at, at a later later point, we've established ourselves. We can say, okay, I can have a little bit more. Yeah, because and I guess it mm -hmm. takes all sorts to make the world. Mm -hmm. uh, the question is, is there some kind of perfect formula? Is it like, well, if I post a bunch of work photos and every once in a while I post a photo of me and a cute dog, am I going to be way more successful when I'm playing the field? <laughs> um I guess there's, there's no real answer to that. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's a bunch of fish in the knows sea. That. That's an interesting psychology. Yeah, it's I wonder if there's a, a fine balance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, correct. It's, I'm sorry. Um, it, this whole thing is in its infancy. It mm -hmm. only came about about 20 years ago. Or less. Yeah. Uh, in, in mainstream, really, in the last 10 years. Yeah, mm -hmm. less than mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. even, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, it's, it's just in between now. And here's the thing. Here in America, and this is a first world... Um, um, Phenomenon? Country? Mm -hmm. No, it's... Uh, well, I'll, I guess I'll come back to the word again. And uh -huh. it's just, you know, I've, I've got se seven different languages in my head. I'm trying. <laughs> um, but do you speak Italian, the language of love, I or do French? Not. Oh, I do okay. not. I right, wonder why checking. you didn't just. Uh, just checking. I was yeah. just going to come out with a Bijorno. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's a luxury of the first world, right? We can talk Russia and all these other different countries mm -hmm. all we want, but they don't have a Starbucks at every corner with free Wi-Fi. Right. 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 And they don't. And not everybody has has a phone or a social media account. We're so far ahead of the world that we that we think that we live in, uh -huh. paved roads and such. Uh -huh. That uh, these, these this whole. The first world stuff is we're we're kind of spiking through it right now. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. I was talking to my son yesterday, who is thirty one, and he said, "I said, what have you been doing all day?" And, and he hands me a card, and it's of a young lady who wants who is an actor, and he said, um, "This this, I met this uh, lady at when I was working in my office." And I said, how did you meet her in your office? Because the office is out of his home. And he goes, no, Starbucks. And I was like, that's your office? And he the goes, yeah, office. I go every day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Uh -huh. Brilliant. Because, I mean, that's, that's, that's the way. So here, I brought my laptop, uh, my backpack over there. If you notice, I left it outside. I'm on yeah. my lunch break. I'm actually at work right now, by the way. Uh -huh. I, have, um, uh, I start at 11, and I stop at 1. And then I go back to work. I'm uh -huh. actually working remotely today, and I'd be working from a Starbucks or from home. Yeah, that's what he does. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's so the way of the future. Th I tell you, the young people, uh, and and I know I overuse the word millennial, but it, it just kind of says it all. Now you're on the very top end of that. Correct. You're almost not a millennial. Yeah, and and you know yeah. what? There are a lot of young people that are coming up that are that are actually not millennial. They're right. like neo millennials. They're right. like touchscreen babies. That, right. You know. Mm -hmm. So. But but uh, you work differently. You yeah. know, you work yeah. differently. Is it harder to meet um, women and, and, you know, opposite sex because you work in a more segmented and a more segregated environment? I think it's a lot easier to meet them. I think it's, uh, it's, it's where... Harder to get to know them, maybe. Yeah, because we're all, we've all become a lot more aware of each other's subcommunication now. So mm -hmm. I can see what your post is about. Mm -hmm. you, uh, you do, do you really love your dog or are you looking for some sympathy? Uh -huh. Like that sort of thing, right? right? I mean, it depends right. on where, and also it's, it's where I'm at in life or how I'm going to perceive your post. So you're looking for integrity and honesty and that sort of thing. So let's say, I will ask this for both of you, you're, you're in a bar and you meet a hot looking girl, gal, and you decide that you're going to talk to her. Do you sneak off to the men's room and look her up online before you get into a conversation? No. I probably should. That's <laughs> 
That's what I would do. Whenever I do naturally go to the men's room, Mm -hmm. maybe. Yeah, but I'm not going to like go out of my way. Like, hold on, I'll be right back. Let me go check this out. I think some people do. I think women do. Oh, I'm sure they do. I think women do. Which is terrifying. Oh, this is beautiful for for women. Yeah. So this is this is this is the female era, man. Yeah, and I think they. I I I know I would if I were in my 20s and 30s and I were interested in meeting a man right now, I would find out his name, where he lives, that sort of thing, and then I'd have to go to the ladies' room and I would look him up. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, they're all doing that. And if he was a loser Whoa. online, I'd probably just leave and Whoa, not let him uh, see me. I think they got to. <laughs> who was it? Uh, Louis C.K. who had that old bit? It was about, you know, men date women and it's fine. You're going to go see somebody who's pretty, who probably wants to talk to you, who's attractive, who, who's got kind of a light, airy voice, who's a little shorter than you, like this cute girl, you know, <laughs> that you're going to spend time with. Women have to go out with a stranger who's taller than them, who's whiter than them, <laughs> who might be scary. Well, I mean, stronger, who knows? Yeah, this <laughs> gruff and tall. Tough, like who knows what they got to deal with. So yeah, I get it. Do your research. It's fair. <laughs> well, I just wonder. So the next time you're out and you meet a new woman and she's gone to the ladies' room a little bit longer than usual, <laughs> you're kind of going to know when you get back maybe what she's been looking at. Sure. Or probably your profile. But you know what I would be looking for if you were asking us? Uh, yes. Is um, I wouldn't so much look at her profile. I'd, I'd look for a couple of key things. And the first thing that I would look look for is decisiveness. Okay. Right. If you're looking for, because I know that everyone's going to give you the, the default answers, all looks or this yeah. and that, confidence, all you know. So I think decisiveness is big because if you're passionate about life, you know what you want to want, right? And I don't, I, I, I'm not interested in anybody that's that's not decisive. Okay, so you want them goal oriented, correct? Uh, making decisions, yes. So some somewhat powerful yeah. in their own yeah, yeah, personal yeah. power. I mean, I don't, mm-hmm. we don't, we don't work so hard just so we can we can not have a partner that's as. Uh, battle hardened as we are mm-hmm, right so mm-hmm. that's one mm-hmm. and or has the potential to get there mm-hmm. um do you shy away from women whenever you find out that they want to get married or are they that honest out mm, there i think some are depends mm-hmm. on the woman mm-hmm. some yes you know, like i said there's all sorts of fish in the sea not everybody's looking for that mm-hmm. some women are like nope just want to have a good time and like great that's cool do and you believe them no. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say the same thing. I don't believe them. No. no. And it also no. varies on age group as well, uh, right? But uh, I mean, obviously, default, every, most women want to get married, uh-huh. right? I mean, uh, and, and I think I think guys do too. Guys are very sensitive. We just don't show it as much. Uh huh. You're right? more stoic. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We, we do that. Mm-hmm. Um, so something I wanted to ask about since we only have a few minutes left, Johnny, you're a little bit of an entrepreneur. Sure. Y- you got in multiple irons in the fire. What do you have going on in your life and how does that relate to meeting people? I know you're networking, you're all over the place. Yeah. Um, well, the, the idea is, look, this is, the, this, is a, this is a transitional period on planet Earth and I just see the opportunity that's out there, right? So currently my hands are, and you know, I'm, an, I'm an engineer full time at GM Financial. Mm-hmm. Um, um, I do data, you know, data recovery and d- data. No wonder recovery. you know so much about all this. Yeah. Sure, yeah, you know what? It <laughs> yeah. actually helps. This is your life. Yeah, mm-hmm. it mm-hmm. actually helps. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, I've been doing um, professional modeling now for two years, and I'm actually mm-hmm. getting into movies now. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, all it is is just that we've we have a gift that's been given to us, and I live in complete gratitude of every single day. Then you must be supremely happy because gratitude is the secret, everybody. Everything I read says if you're going to be happy, you have to have gratitude. Yeah, if you have thankful. gratitude, you're going to be happy. It comes mm-hmm. and goes, but mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. uh, I mean, it's some days you're more gratified than others. Yeah, right? definitely. Mm-hmm. You know, Sunday mm-hmm. nights, I'm 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 a mess. But uh, <laughs> you're a mess. You know, Sunday nights are tough for everybody, aren't they? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yes. Yeah. Sunday. Yeah. Nights. Unless you're there with the love of your life and your kids are running around in the fire, fireplace and you yeah. got Christmas presents over there. There yeah. we go. Well, well, it's not so bad. Yeah. Zach, I know we only have about a minute, but I'm going to make a bold pronouncement. Okay. Okay. About Johnny. So those women out there, all of you women out there, number one, we have Johnny on Facebook Live, so you're going to get to see him. Yes. And of course, we are a visual um, species. We are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We like, I think that if Johnny were to ever get married, which he probably will, he's going to have beautiful babies. You that's think? my pronouncement. That's your prediction? That's my prediction. That's a, yeah. that's a, it takes a tough woman to make a tender forecast, it Donna. It does. It does. And i got to tell you, we women worry about our babies. You know, we look at the guy and we go, hmm, I wonder if he's going to be a good father. And I wonder if my kids are going to be a, a 10. Right. So, Johnny, <laughs> you got a good future out there. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, you got everything going for you. Well, real quick, before we let you go, how can people find out more about yeah. you? Tell us what's going on in your life. Sure. Um, you can look up I am Johnny Crash on Instagram. You can look up 
Koreshi Johnny on Facebook or Facebook.com slash Koreshi Johnny or Facebook Facebook.com slash I am Johnny Koreshi. You can also look up blackribbongrooming.com. Um, it is the uh, premier men's grooming product that's coming out of here in Texas. We're a small company, um, all made in USA. We don't import anything, all made in small batches. Where are you sold? Are you sold online? Only or? online at the only, moment. Only online? Yep. Living local. Mm-hmm. I respect that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, made in, made in the, proudly made in the DFW. Yep. Would you spell yeah. Koreshi for us? Q U R E S H I. So I am J O H N N Y Q U R E S H I. And or just Google Johnny Koreshi. I'm all over the place. It's true. There we yeah, go. He's not that hard to find. You know what? We loved having you. You are just the epitome of the millennial plus. Um, you know, self directed. You know what you want. You stay out there. You keep yourself out there. And yet you're just genuine and honest and don't mind opening up your soul. So Thank we you. appreciate that Thank so, you so much. much. For having yeah, you're making the rest of us look bad. Yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> no way. No way. No <laughs> yeah, way. Sure. yeah. Thank you so much, Johnny. You've been a delight. We will see you again. Oh, absolutely. We'll I'd have you back, back on. We'd oh, love you back on. My pleasure. Thank, Thank you. So much, guys. Well, Zach? shoot. Yeah, before we, get, before we go, I should say, just remind everybody to find us on iTunes. If you're listening to this episode right now, you're halfway there. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, subscribe on Google Play if you can swing it Stitcher, SoundCloud, Podcast.com Anywhere you get your podcast. Follow us on YouTube, follow us on Facebook Follow Donna on Facebook Yes, at and Donna you know Arp what? I need your feedback Please email us Yes, Please. email us at CinderellaHasSailite at gmail.com I need you to go to our Facebook page Because Johnny would be disappointed if I didn't ask you And hit like on our public page So that we can connect with you Go to Johnny Koreshi's uh, page And hook us up and we'll uh, share a page together there for a Yes, few guys, throw so. Johnny a like, please. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Johnny. Thank you very much for having me, guys. It's an absolute pleasure. Bye bye.